Hi there everyone, this video is a quick guide to install the new DJI 04 and 04 Pro cameras into any AOS V5 frame. That's any AOS frame that uses a metal camera cage. All you need are a couple of 3D printed adapters, links down in the video description, and this video. So let's dive right into it. Hi there everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to mount the new DJI 04 cameras in any AOS V5 frame. That's any AOS frame with a metal camera cage like this or a metal camera cage like this. You can mount either the Pro camera or the 04 standard camera in these frames and I'm going to be taking you through exactly how to do it. You'll need to 3D print a couple of small adapters and all the links for the STL files that you need are down in the video description. So make sure to download those files, um, print them out, and then you can do this build. We're going to start with the 04 Pro camera and I'm building it into the AOS 5 V5 frame. And what's really nice about the new 04 Pro is it's got a slightly longer camera cable. So the stock camera cable fits perfectly, even with a longer nose design like we have on the AOS 5 V5. So you get no props in view and the absolute best possible image quality from the 04 Pro. We're going to start by fitting a couple of camera adapter plates to the 04 Pro camera. You can see the 04 Pro has a couple of really widely spaced M2 threaded holes that don't fit any normal camera mounts. So I've designed these adapter plates, which uh, you can print out, and they're going to mount onto the camera to adapt it so that it will fit. The um, adapter plate has a spot for an M2 nut, so you can uh, go ahead and push fit an M2 nut into this spot here. And that will give you the opportunity to actually thread an M2 screw in here to really tighten and secure the camera up tilt once everything is assembled. This is optional, it will work just fine without it, and it's Pretty secure but if you want just an absolutely rock solid up tilt that's never going to change even in a hard crash then uh, you can install this nut now um, but it's up to you. So we're going to start by taking this camera adapter plate and installing it onto the camera and we want the little boss here forward of the two screw holes and we're going to be installing it using the M2 by 6 millimeter screws that came with your AOS V5 frame kit so you don't need any new screws for this. You can just thread the screws into the camera mounting holes on the 04 Pro camera and as you do this just be careful not to over tighten these screws. You don't want to strip out the threads in the camera and once everything is assembled it's all super snug so you don't need to, um, to over tighten. Then we can mount the other adapter plate. Again, install the M2 nut if you want to, if you want to really uh, secure that up tilt really tightly. Um, otherwise, it's, it's honestly, it's fine without it as well. Once you have both of these camera plates installed onto the side of the camera, then we'll be able to um, install it into the camera cage with an adapter. So this is what the camera looks like with both of those adapter plates installed. If you've got them the right way around, the boss should be forward of the two screw holes. And they are symmetric, so there's no left or right side. It's the same part for both sides. Now let's take a look at the camera plates. And just like with a standard um, build of the camera cage, you're going to want to install the soft mount camera plate here with the M2 by 4 millimeter screws. And you're going to do that the same for both camera cages. And of course, they're symmetric and identical, so it's super easy to do. Once you've got those camera plates installed, you're going to want to make sure that you have the carbon camera plates on the outside of the camera cage when you assemble it. So the side without the carbon plates is going to be facing the other camera cage. And this is different from a normal build, let's say for the O3 camera or for a standard 19 millimeter camera. For the 04 Pro camera, you're going to want to install the camera cage plates on the outside. Once you've done that, you can take a 3D printed adapter, again, STL file in the video description, and I would print these in TPU to provide a soft mounting effect that um, helps with stable video and helps rock steady and gyro flow and stuff like that. You're going to want to install the TPU gummy into the camera plate like this. It should just pop through. And you can see that we're kind of installing it from this side and then it's coming through um, flush with the carbon camera plate on the other side. You're going to want the little M2 hole here towards the front of the camera cage as well. 
Once you've done one side, you can do the other side exactly symmetrically. And now you have the camera cage nicely assembled. What I would do now is take the longer M2 screw that goes into the top standoff and go ahead and install the top standoff. Once this is done, you're going to take the O4 Pro camera with its little boss on its adapter plate and you're just going to slot the little boss into the cylindrical recess in the TPU part. And then exactly the same on the other side, just slot the boss into the TPU recess. That should all go in nicely. And then, just to save you having to worry about um, holding everything together, if you install the other screw into the top standoff, the long M2 screw, that will hold everything together while you do the rest of the assembly and just means that you don't have to have three pairs of hands to do the rest of the assembly. So that little camera cage will now just hold together by itself and you can go ahead and install it into the front of your frame and then you're going to assemble it onto the frame using the same screws that you would normally. So we've got some M3 by 8 millimeter screws for the top plate. We can just thread those down. So that's, we've got the two M3 screws installed on the top plate. Flip the frame over and then we have four M3 screws to secure the bottom plate. And so again, we're just going to install those exactly the same way. And once those four screws are in place, that's the whole camera cage assembly done. So at this stage, the camera is really nice and securely mounted and it will move a little bit up and down. Uh, you can change the angle, but it's pretty secure and quite firm. If you really need to lock the camera up tilt so that it really never moves, even in the hardest of crashes, then what you're going to do is you're going to want to take some M2 by six millimeter button head screws and you're just going to want to thread them through the hole here in the TPU side piece and that will go through the TPU through the um, hard plastic PETG or PLA adapter and it will thread into that little captive M2 nut that's right in there um, between the adapter and the O4 Pro camera and that will allow you to provide some extra compression on that little boss and that will effectively lock the camera up tilt by friction and it will make it basically impossible for the camera to move. Um, you may decide that you do or don't need this extra screw. Um, it may not provide any value for you, but I just wanted to include that feature so that if you do need to lock the up tilt, you can do. Once you've screwed that into the M2 nut, there is nothing you can do to change this camera up tilt. It's so, so secure. So that's the full build for the O4 Pro camera. And you can do effectively the same build with any of the AOS V5 frames. They have slightly different camera cages, but fundamentally the actual geometry of the camera mounting is exactly the same, uses the same camera plates. So everything will go together exactly as I've demonstrated it here. Now let's move over to the um, AOS Cine 20 V5 and have a look at the O4 standard camera. All right, so now we're gonna look at installing the O4 standard camera into an AOS V5 frame. And I'm using the AOS Cine 20 V5 as the example here, but this same assembly technique will work for any AOS V5 frame. That's any AOS frame with a metal camera cage. Even if your metal camera cage doesn't look exactly like this one, uh, it might have a slightly different design. As long as it's made of metal and uh, it's an AOS design, this is gonna work just fine for you. So the first thing we're gonna do is install the plastic adapter that DJI provide for the O4 camera. So you can see once we've installed that adapter onto the O4 camera, we again have those two M2 holes 16 millimeters apart. Then you're going to take the um, little camera adapter plates for the O4 standard camera and similar to the O4 Pro adapter plates, you have the option to install a little M2 nut into this little socket here. And again, that's to allow you to screw in an M2 screw to kind of lock the up tilt really, really securely. So it's never going to move, um, but it's optional. Uh, the mounting is perfectly secure without this nut, but you might want it just um, if you really want to lock the up tilt. You're going to install these um, adapter plates onto the O4 standard camera and you're going to install them using the 
M2 plastic self-tapping screws that DJI provide with this camera. And you're going to install the adapter so that the boss is slightly behind the screw holes. So you're going to screw it in like this. And I would suggest that when you're doing this assembly, you use manual tools rather than electric screwdrivers because um, electric screwdrivers have a habit of causing things to twist and you don't want to put that camera cable under any stress. So I would just use manual tools for this. Again, there's no need to use too much force here because everything is going to be very secure when you assemble it all. So you're just looking for those screws to sort of tap into the plastic and then uh, just go slightly snug. It's very easy to strip out the plastic with um, the screws that DJI provide. So just try and avoid doing that. Once you have those four screw screws installed correctly, you should find that the top of the screw just comes flush with the plastic adapter. And that's that means that you've just got it perfect. Once all of the screws are assembled, just uh, double check that you haven't got any gaps between the adapter plate and the side of the camera. So I had a little one there and there is a little one on the other side. Again, I'm just being super careful not to over tighten, but I also want to check that I don't have any open gaps. Perfect. So once you have those two adapter plates on the camera, we can move on to looking at the camera cage. And the camera cage assembly is exactly the same uh, for the O4 standard camera as the DJI O3 camera. So you're going to install the soft mount camera plate on the inside of the camera cage. And then you're going to take the um, O4 TPU gummy and just pop it into the camera plate like this. There we go. And do exactly the same on the other side. Again, you're going to want the, the boss the sort of cylindrical recess here to be forward of the of the midpoint, right? So you, the boss is more towards the front of the camera cage than the back, and everything's symmetric, so it's, it's super easy. All you're going to do then is take the boss and just press it into that little recess in the TPU part, and you should just find they kind of go together pretty easily, actually. They just kind of slot together. Once you've done that, you're going to take the camera cage and just slot it into the frame and then do up the M2 screws with your driver. Once you've done the screws on the top plate, you can flip the frame over and just do up the screws on the bottom plate. All of this is, of course, going to be covered in the frame build guide that comes with your frame. But we're only covering here the differences to install the O4 camera specifically. Once all the screws are assembled on the top and the bottom plate, you will find that the camera is really secure, but that you can still adjust the up tilt with a, a sort of firm twist. If you really need to lock the up tilt in position so that it cannot move um, at all, then what you can do is you can take a couple of M2 by 6 millimeter button head screws. And just as before with the O4 Pro, you can just put those screws through the hole in the TPU and thread them all the way into the um, M2 nut that's captive inside the camera plate adapter. And that will allow you to apply some extra compression, which will just um, secure everything so tightly that the camera up to it will be completely locked. Um, you may or may not find you need this. I, I don't think I need it generally for the flying that I do. But if you're very concerned with locking the up tilt, you can do it. And with everything assembled and those screws threaded in, I mean, there is just no way that I can move that camera up tilt by hand. And if I need to adjust the up tilt, I'm going to need to take these screws out to loosen everything up and just allow me to, to move it again. Make sure to check out the links down in the video description for everything you need for your DJI O4 build. I've tried to bring together as much information as I can to make everything as straightforward as possible. That's all I have for you for today. So until next time, I wish you all very, very happy flying.